Chiefs Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Thank you so much for joining us. Our guest is Brad Sherman. Mr. Sherman is a member of the United States Congress. Sir, we thank you so much for joining us. You bet. I want to talk to you about foreign policy, mm -hmm. definitely the purview of the United States Congress. Many Americans, many world citizens are celebrating the Arab Spring, looking at the democracy movements in Tunisia, in Egypt, seem to be fairly successful. Some bumps, but fairly successful. Let's talk about Libya, though. That has, there's a big bump there. And I want to get your sense of what's going on in Libya. Well, first of all, Gaddafi is much worse than Ben Ali in Tunisia, mm -hmm. Umar Barak in Egypt. And that may be why he as of now is still in power in uh, a big chunk of his country. He's been willing to kill uh, in, lo you know, Literally. by the, yes, by the, by the hundreds. Um, What's interesting though, Congressman, if I may say, is it seemed as if that Mr. Gaddafi had been moving toward the West over the last mm -hmm. 10, 15 years. Relations with the West were better. He was very friendly with the Italians. Mm -hmm. um, we had been cozying up a mm -hmm. bit. Was that all just a charade? Uh, no, uh, he had given up his nuclear program, and as it turned out, he had a more advanced nuclear mm. program than we realized at the time. Uh, he was moving toward the West, and yet, look, he was still a brutal dictator at home, and, uh, you know, this is not something we instigated. Uh, this all comes because a particular, I believe it was a, a flower seller, a, a, a street peddler in Tunisia, right. burned himself. Literally. And, uh, and died and started uh, this movement that swept into not only Tunisia but other countries as well. As you know, the American government spearheaded uh, military involvement, I guess you could say, in Libya uh, through ultimately a coalition. What's your sense of American involvement militarily in Libya right now? Well, first, it. Uh, Gaddafi deserves to go, and at the same time, in our efforts to bring democracy to Libya, we shouldn't be shredding the laws of the United States. And that's what I want to talk to you about the, is the War Powers Act. Yes, and um, as of the day we're, we're making this, uh, this show, right. the War Powers Act uh, has not uh, been honored by the president. Um, and uh, the tomorrow is the 60th day of military involvement. But I if you look at the last 10 years, let's mm -hmm. say, um, with American involvement mm -hmm. in the Middle East, War Pact invocations, War Powers Act invocations have not been common. I mean, it seems as if presidents have been kind of well. No, in the, uh, some... it was, there was a resolution there at, was for Afghanistan, Iraq. And depending upon you how you counted, it, it was either a timely or a little late for the first Gulf War. Mm -hmm. So all our other military actions in the Middle East have been pursuant to the War Powers so Act. So what's going on here? Why aren't we seeing this invocation? Well, uh, you're not seeing it from the administration because they're not sure how the vote would go and because they would prefer to simply erase the War Powers Act by failing to, uh, to, uh, to follow it. So you're a Democrat. The president mm -hmm. is a Democrat. Um, mm -hmm. If a Democrat's complaining about this, that says something. But are we hearing Republican complaints? There are a few, but I'm not sure that they, they reach a majority level. And that is, a lot of my colleagues would prefer to avoid a decision where it's not sure which way their district would want to go. We have, you know, people who are very pro-Planned Parenthood or anti-Planned Parenthood. They've already taken those positions, sure. usually consistent with their district. Libya, the country is... Uh, Ambivalent. Uh, yeah, We're not sure what to think. And I think part of that is because we know Gaddafi's bad, but we don't know, or who are these rebels in Benghazi? Fair enough. I want to thank you, Congressman, for joining us. He is Brad Sherman, Congressman from the San Fernando Valley. My name is Brad Pomerantz. Back to HLN.